All right, the other local team that is in uh, South Jersey Group 3 are the Hamilton Blue Devils. Uh, Mike coming off a big game last week against Egg Harbor Township. Arguably the two best teams in the Cape Atlantic League. Arguably one of the best games in South Jersey right. this year. Um, close game. Hamilton you know, came up on the short end, but they are the top seed in Group 3, and they are facing a Winslow Township team that's a little deceptive with that 4-4 four and four record. No favors here for Hamilton. Uh, the top seed... Especially in in Group Three, Two and One, usually you know is a prohibitive favorite. Not this week. Winslow Township, the best eight seed in South Jersey, four and four. Uh, quarterback Bill Belton Jr. Uh, can run and throw. Division One college prospect. He'd be a nightmare for anybody that plays him. So Hamilton certainly, you know, they're still favored. Uh, they still should be okay. But you know, this is no ordinary eight seed they're facing tomorrow night in in uh, Hamilton. Well, you mentioned uh, Belton, the quarterback for Winslow, but Hamilton, you know, for for at least in recent memory, has a wealth of talent at skill positions, especially on offense. Right. Hamilton's a perennial power. They're in the playoffs every year, but they haven't won a South Jersey title since 1996. Their talent to skill positions this year is probably the best since that season. They've got Nick Crescenzo at quarterback, Dave Crescenzo at halfback, uh, Jared Sanchez, speedy wide receiver, running back, uh, Ian Evans, Division One tight end going to Maryland, uh, Josh Baez coming back at fullback, giving him the strong inside game. Yeah, he's kind uh, of emerged. He was like Over the second half of the second season. Of the he missed season. the first four games right. of the year, suspended for violation of school rules. He's given him that inside game. Uh, that they were maybe missing earlier in the year. Yeah, 433 yards and seven touchdowns in half a right, season. That's exactly. pretty good. It's great. So uh, they're going to need all those skilled guys tomorrow night because, again, we talk about it all the time. Well, how do you win playoff games? You, you, you know, you control the ball and you don't make mistakes. That's what Hampton's got to do. They've got to control the ball with their ground game. Keep Bill Belton on the sidelines. He can't score. He can't run 60 yards for a touchdown. He can't throw 50 yards for a touchdown if he's not playing offense. So that's what Hampton has to do. Control the ball, keep Belton on the sidelines, because uh, Winslow has big play potential, mm -hmm. and Hamilton needs to limit that. I mean, it sounds like, just in talking about this, there's going to be a lot of interesting players on the field to watch in this game, like particular guys who really could stand out individually on both sides of the ball. I mean, Plus, this is an interesting game because this is what you right get. next to each yeah, other. Yeah, you get in the playoffs. Yeah. These two teams are in different leagues, but they're bordering towns. Right. Uh, and, and these players have to know each other sure. growing up and stuff like that. So you kind of got a, a local bragging rights game here mm -hmm. between two towns that are right next to each other. So, I mean, this has, you know, that sort of neighborhood rivalry feel to it. Plus, you know, uh, Winslow, a, a talented team going up against a Hamilton team uh, that's, uh, you know, probably Hamilton's best team in some time. A lot of storylines in this game.